Hello friends, your grammar buddy Mini is once again back with you at your own favorite learning platform, Learn Forward, with your grammar book, The Grammar Hub by Feather Cap for Grade 1. And going ahead today, we'll be starting Chapter 3 of your book, that is Nouns, and we'll be learning about some naming words today. So, are you ready for the journey with Mini? Let's get started. Look at these pictures. You have been given some letters here and you have to form words. Let's try. What's the first one? Yes, that's a boat. So this is boat. B-O-A-T. Who will give me the next answer now? Yes, brilliant. That's a nest. N E S T. Next is very good. That's frog. F R O G. And the last one is your best friend, the book. Yes. So it's B. O, O, K. Very good students. And today, moving ahead, we are going to learn about the naming words. Let's start. So, what are naming words? As the name suggests, naming words are the words that give name to anything, anybody. So, let's know about them. Can you identify this? What's this? Very good. That's a sun. Students, can you call it moon? No, because we have given it a name, sun. You know who created sun? God created sun. But do you think when God created sun, he gave this name to sun that you have to call it sun? No, it is Humans who have given a name to it, sun. And do you know why we have given it a name? So that when we talk to each other about sun, we know that yes, we are talking about this particular thing, natural thing. Right? If we don't give it the name sun, somebody might call it sun, somebody might call it a star, somebody might call it a moon. So how do we know what are we talking about? So, we gave it a name and it's worldwide known as sun. Now, let's move to the next picture. This is a lion. Very good. So, everybody knows it is a lion. Will anybody call it a puppy or an elephant? No, because we have given it a name lion and everybody knows it's a lion. Right? So, these are naming words. Let's move to the names of other pictures. What's it? Is it a temple? Is it a hospital? No. What is the word naming word we have given to it? Yes, that's a school. So, this picture is of a school. And the next picture is of a Doctor, how do you know he is a doctor? Brilliant answer because he is wearing a white coat and moreover he carries a stethoscope. This is what the doctors use. So he is a doctor and she is a girl. Can you call her a boy? No. Can you call her a tree? No. Because everybody who looks like her, we call that person as a girl. So, this is also a name given to this picture that is a girl. And this is a bird. Brilliant. Everybody loves this. Is it a pizza? Why can't you call it a pizza? Okay, tell me. Because we have given it a name and that name is chocolate. 
So this is also a naming word. It's a word made up of letters and this word is giving name to this thing. So that is a naming word. And the last one is again your best friend. That is the book. Fine. So what are these? These are all words which are giving name to these specific pictures. And remember, we cannot exchange these names. I cannot call this as a son. I cannot call this as a bird. This cannot be a girl. So they have their own names and names are given so that everybody identifies that particular thing. And we know what are we talking about. Have you got it? Very good. Let's move to the next now. So what are naming words? Everything has a name. People have name. Do you have a name? Yes, everybody has a name. Now places also have names. If you are going to a school, you will not say I am going to a market. So that place has a name. That it is a school. If you are going to a market, you will not say I am going to a hospital or a temple. Because that place has got a name that it is a market. Similarly, all animals have names. Just in the previous slide, I talked about a lion. And I asked you, can, it, can you call it a bird? No. So all animals also have names. Birds also have names. Things or objects also have names. Like a book, if you have, you will not call it a table. A table you have, you cannot call it a marker. So all the things also have their names. And there are many names around us. These naming words are the names of people, places, animals, birds, things and much more. Whatever word you use to identify something, that is a naming word. And naming words are also called nouns. What are they called? Nouns. N is for naming word and N is for nouns. So naming words are called nouns. Now let's see some examples here. We'll first see the names of people. Let's read. He is a singer. So if I say singer, what do you know about that person? Does he write something? No. Does he mend your shoes? No. Then what does the singer mean? Perfect. A singer means somebody who sings for you. Right? So, I am identifying using this naming word singer and when I hear about singer, I know, rather everybody knows, I am talking about a person who sings. I am not talking about a person who treats patients. I am not talking about a person who teaches children. No, singer is used for people who sing. So, it is a naming word. Now, my aunt has a son. So, these are also naming words because I am giving a name to my relation with that person. So, wherever we give a name, that is called a naming word or noun. So, here I am giving a name to a relation. When I am saying son, there also I am giving a name to a relation. So that is also a noun, naming word. The baby is playing with her mother. So these are also naming words, nouns. Let's move to the next. Now we have the names of places. I go to place. This is a place where you go every day. And this place is called school. So that is a naming word. I like to go to the zoo. What do you see there? Zoo. Do you go to see a movie there? Do you go to buy things there? Go for shopping? Do you go to study there? No. What do you find there? Oh yes. You visit a zoo 
to meet so many animals, right? So, zoo is a place where animals are kept. Very good. Now, we play in a, do you play in a swimming pool? You play in a, what is that place called? You play in a park. Perfect. So, park is a place where we play. Now, Let's see some examples of names of animals. There is a lion in the bedroom. No, there is a cat in the bedroom. Can a lion be there in the bedroom? Of course, if we'll cut all the trees, all the forest, then someday they are going to move out into our bedroom. So we must not do that, remember. So there is a cat in the bedroom. Then the lion roars in the forest. Yes. So lion is another animal. This is a naming word. Now the examples for names of things. We also call them objects. I have a football. So this is an object and I call it football and everybody knows when I am talking about a football what's that? Is it that small? The one with which you play cricket? No. So when I say football I mean that big heavy one. Right? That we kick with our foot. So that is a football. So when I say football do you immediately get a picture of football? Everybody gets the same picture are you sure? Is there anybody who can just think of this small a football? No. So I hope you have understood now why do we give names. So that whenever we call out that name, we know, everybody knows what are we talking about. So these are naming words. And we write on paper. Should you write on walls also? Very bad habit, so we should not. Yes, so we write on paper. Paper is again a thing on which we write. So I hope till now you are clear on what are naming words, what are nouns. All the names, let us recall all the words, sorry, that we use to give a name. Name can be given to anything for identification, for recognition. So they all are called naming words. Let's move ahead now and we have a list of some words here in the box. What you have to do, can you see there are columns here, persons, animals and birds will put together in the same category. Then this is places and in this column we are going to put things. Very good. So can we just read out each word and see where will it go? The first word is school. Is a school a person? No. Is that an animal or a bird? No, of course. Is that a place? Yes, that's a place where you go to study. Very good. So we'll put this school here in this column. Right? Let's move to the next is cobbler. Who is a cobbler? Yes, he is a person. So, we'll put this in this category, cobbler. Cobbler is a person. Next, book. So, when I just ask you to give me the definition of these words, you will immediately identify in which category we have to put it. When I say book, I immediately say it's a thing that we use to read stories. Right? So, this will come in this column book. Now next, teacher is a, is it a place? No. Is it a thing? No. So teacher is a person. Yes, good. So teacher will come in this column. Right student? And the next is a monkey. That's an animal who keeps Jumping, right? Do you also jump like a monkey? Do your parents ever say, stop behaving like a monkey, you jump too much. 
So monkey is an animal. Sorry, this is, we'll not write here animal, we'll write here the name of the animal and that is monkey. Next is pilot. Pilot is a person who flies the airplane. So, pilot will come in this column. Fine. Let's move to the next word. That's a doctor. And doctor again is a very good. That is a person. Next is parrot. That is a beautiful bird with red beak. So birds and animals we are taking together in this column and we'll write here parrot. Lion. We have already done. Yes. That's an animal. The king of forest. Next is oh yes. That's a place where all the animals are kept. Policeman is again a person. Seems you have all understood this. So, should we finish all the words here? Yes. Okay. Let's move ahead then. Eagle. That's a bird. Bird of prey. So, that is here. Next is a pencil. This is what you all use for writing. So, this is a thing. And table again is a thing where you keep your things. Very nice. You all are very intelligent. Office. Where do your parents go? That's the work place. Yes, office is a place. Very good. Next is a, oh we read this word in the previous exercise also. Yes, park is again a place. Beautiful. What is Scott? Have you ever heard about this word? Yes, cot is a bed. So, bed is a thing. That's brilliant of you. Very nice. So, that is a cot. Next is an animal. A very cunning animal fox. So here we go and a house is a place. Very good. And the last one, oh yes you are there with the correct answer. That is an eraser, a thing that we use to erase our mistakes when we are writing. That's brilliant of all of you. Now, let's see what do we have next. See students, this is about common nouns and proper nouns. Now, we have learned about naming words, the words that give a name. Now, when we talk about name, suppose I just ask you, okay, tell me what's your name? So, what do you say? You'll say my name is Rohit. She'll say my name is Shikha, right? So, if I say Shikha, Please stand up. Do you think all the girls will stand? I am talking to Shikha. So only Shikha will stand. But if I say boys stand up. So do you think only one boy Rohan or Rohit will stand up? No. When I am saying boys stand up. That means all the boys sitting here in the class will stand. So why, why is it so? Because. All the persons here who look like Rohit, who have got all the features of Rohit, they all are called boys. Right? 
but if I say Rohit, if I say Shikha, I am talking about particular person only. I am not talking about all of the same kind. Okay. If you say, I write with a pencil. So that everybody does in your class. So all the students will say that I also write with a pencil. I also write with a pencil. Right. But somebody might be having apsara pencil to write. The other person might be having natraj pencil to write. So all pencils are pencils, but your apsara is a name that is a different name and natraj is a different name. So this is how we put the naming words, the nouns in two different categories. One is used for everybody, everything, all that are same and the second is used for somebody in particular. Let's know about them. So, if we talk about these pictures, can you identify who is he? If I ask you, come on, tell me who is he, what will you say? Do you know him? No. But still, suppose he is there at your uh, home gate. So, what will you tell your father? Papa, there is some man or some uncle at the gate. Right? So, we call this person as man. Look at him. Who is he? Yes, because you don't know who is he. Again for him also you will say he is a man. He is also a man. And he is also a man. Very good. So, will you call any of them as a doctor, as a woman? Will you? No, you will not because you don't know who are they. But you know, yes, he is a man. Is he a bird? Is he a woman? Is he an aunt? No, they all are men. Right? Okay. Now, let's move to this part of the screen. You meet him somewhere someday. Or you just listen to his lecture someday. Right? So, what will you tell everybody? Yes, you will not say, I heard a man speaking. You will not say, I met a man. What will you say? I met Mr. Narendra Modi. Why will you not call him a man simply? Because he has got this special name that keeps him apart from everybody else. If we say Mr. Narendra Modi, everybody knows we are talking about the Prime Minister of India, right? So, he has got a special name. Similarly, if we talk about this, should I say ma'am? Of course, he is a man, but he has got a name which everybody knows. And we call him Mahatma Gandhi. Yes, this is the special name by which we know him. Right? Okay, who is he? Is he Sachin Tendulkar? Is he Rahul Dravid? No? Who will tell me who is he then? You all are cricket lovers, right? So, he is, yes, he is Virat Sharma. There might be somebody Virat Sharma also, but you know him as Virat Kohli because this is the special name he has, right? And he's a legend. Who is he? Everybody knows. KBC. Yes, he is Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, a famous personality again. And he has this special name. So, when we talk about these people, we will not say these are men because we know their particular name, right? But in case of this, because we don't know their names, we'll say he is a man, he is a man, he is a man, he is a man. They all are men, right? 
So such words that we use for everybody of the same type in general, they are called common names or common nouns. So common names are, a common name is a name for any person, place, animal or thing. This is the example I have given and when they have the particular name, the special name, this is a name for any person, place, animal or thing in particular. Let's move to next now. There's something you have to remember for writing the names. Write your name. If I ask you all to write your name, you are going to write your name like this. I talk about Rohit. I talk about Shikha. So you all also write your name and how do you begin it? You always begin your name with a capital letter. So remember the special nouns, the special names always begin with a capital letter. Good. So in case of animals and things because they don't have a special name, we don't begin that name with a capital letter until and unless it's a special name like for pencil I said Apsara. So A will be capital. For pencil, I said Natraj, so N will be capital, but P will not be capital. Similarly, when we talk about animals, if we have a name for our pet, Bruno is a name we give to our puppy. Then if I have a cat, I call it Kitty. So this will be capital. But when I talk about animals in general, like cat or a dog, they will not start with capital letters right so because these are just common names and we use them for everybody so these are just names they are written in small letters fine but special names see bruno it begins with a capital letter if i call my pet snowy so i'll write s with capital letter only special names start with capital letter and even if you have two words in your name Right, like you write Narendra Modi. So N will be capital. The second word of your name is Modi. So M will also be capital. So we write like this. Mr. Narendra Modi. Right? So Mr. N Narendra Modi M. Each word in the name will begin with a capital letter. Let's move ahead now. So look at these pictures and choose the special naming words only and write them in the boxes. Let's read the sentences. Nikki is skipping. Who is skipping? Nikki. So that we have to write here. Now in the next, who is jumping? Very good. So Dev is the special name of this boy. So this will come in the box. Now Ria is singing. So Ria is the special name of this. Girl, very good. Who is reading the newspaper here? Yes, here you go. That's perfect. Mr. M capital and Jan J is also capital because it's his special name. Asha. Yes, very nicely answered. So A will be capital. And here, who is closing the door? Do you know his name here? Yes, it's written. He is Kamal. Very good. And remember, students, K will be capital because it's a special name we are giving to this boy. Brilliant. So it seems you all have learned. Let's recall what we have learned in today's session. Naming words, what I told you are the words that give a name to anything so that we can identify everybody can recognize what we are talking about good and all naming words what's the other name for naming words yes that's nouns and we learnt about two types of nouns one was the yes common name the common names the common nouns are the words we talk about everybody of the same type but what are proper nouns? The special names that we give to anything, anybody in particular are called proper nouns. Very good students. Now let's move to the exercises quickly. Underline the common names and encircle the 
special names in the following sentences. So let's first see. A girl is playing with her friend Nikita. Yes, a girl. So girl can be any girl. It's a common noun. So this is a common noun. We will underline this. And what's the name of her friend? She is Nikita. This is a special name because Nikita doesn't mean any friend. Yes, wow. Friend is also a common name. So we'll underline this also. Brilliant students. The queen's name was Mumtaj. So we are talking about a person who is a queen. That is a common noun and yes, Mumtaj is a special name. So that is a proper noun here. Yes, it begins with a capital letter Mittal. It's a special name. Very good. Mrs. Mittal goes to office. Can be any office. So it's a common name. Now the postman gave the letter to Ishan. What's the Common noun here? Yes, that's postman. We'll underline this. And the special noun is? Yes. See, although it's at the end, but still we are starting it with a capital letter. So this is a special noun. Yes, Gurmeet. And who is Gurmeet? Cook can be anybody. Everybody who cooks meal is a cook. So that is a common noun. And Taj Hotel is again a proper noun. Very good student. Now can you write two special names? You can write any two special names. The fav your favorite family members. So you don't have to write mother or father. Because everybody calls the parents as mother and father. But your parents have got a special name. So you are going to write your father's and your mother's name. And remember, you must always write Mr. and Mrs. with the names of your parents. Yes, this is how we give regards when we write the names. We start with Mr. and Mrs. Right? Now your favorite teachers. You have your own favorite teachers. So again, you will write the names yourself. But if the teacher is madam. You will write Mr. or uh, Miss or Mrs. We better write only MS here. So it is used for both Miss as well as Mrs. Right? So we will write here MS. Now your favorite cartoon characters. Whatever is your favorite cartoon character, you have to write here, right? And you must begin it with a capital letter. Write the names of your own favorite cartoon characters and your favorite story books. You would have read so many story books? Yes. Oh, Naughty. Yes, that's even my favorite book. Yes. So you have read so many story books. Just write down the names of any two favorite story books and they will also start with capital letter. Remember that. That's it. So, this is your nouns, what we have learned today. Hope you enjoyed learning. See you in the next class. Take care. Bye bye.